Heading into the weekend, the UNI football team ranked second in the nation in scoring defense with an average of 13.8 points allowed per game. One of the main reasons for the defense's success is first team All-Missouri Valley Conference and preseason All-American Ben Boothby. Brad Wells has more on this remarkable student athlete. In the game of football, you're taught to go hard until you hear the whistle. Senior defensive lineman Ben Boothby, a preseason All-American, carries this philosophy into everything he does in life. He has a great motor. And, and, and that motor is, he's that way in everything he does in life. His schoolwork, his academics, his social life, everything is 100% is, is, is put forth. Uh, and he does a great job. You know he's going to show up every day and don't have to worry about practice habits or work, or work ethic at all. You hear it all the time, it's kind of cliche, but his motor. I mean, that kid just never stops, whether, whether it's football, whether it's school. I mean, for example, first Saturday at camp, he was driving to the other side of the state to take an MCAT and then got back before practice and still came out and gave it his all. Like, I mean, he just, he just outworks everyone is really the best way to put it. You know, he's got, obviously he's got the physical skills, but he just, you know, his, he's motivated beyond what people probably even see on Saturdays. So, you know, he puts his work in and he deserves everything that he gets. Last year, Boothby received the President's Council Academic Award the league's highest academic achievement for student athletes. He's already graduated from the College of Education with a degree in exercise science and is currently working on his master's degree in physical education with an emphasis on kinesiology. When he's done playing football, he will attend medical school. It was definitely a stressful summer. Um, got married too and I had uh, the MCATs to study for, so it's definitely pretty crazy, but you know, I, I obviously know that you know, coming to practice is definitely a high priority on my mind, so you know, I try to schedule an MCAT so I could take it and then come and come to practice because I don't want to be missing out on valuable opportunities I get to spend with my teammates. This season, Boothby has also had to juggle time spent rehabilitating a knee injury. Recently, he had surgery on a torn meniscus on a Monday night, rehab Tuesday through Friday, and was starting for the Panthers again on Saturday, leading them to a victory over Southern Illinois. You know, Ben Boothby, he's, you know, he's probably the strongest person on the team and uh, more people want to be like him. He's a leader. Uh, he knows what he's doing out there. He's fast, physical, um, very instinctive. He, he knows, he watches a lot of tape, definitely knows where he's supposed to go and where he's supposed to be. There is no doubt Ben Boothby will find continued success in every area of his life. It's nice to see that hard work does pay off. Boothby is, and I'm sure you've heard it from all these other guys, he's the hardest working kid that I've ever, that I've ever worked with, you know. And it's, Boothby, he's not, it, he's not a superhuman, you know, he's not, he does, it's not like he doesn't have bad days, but he's one of those guys, he's coming in, everybody's having a bad day, everybody's tired of practice, and Ben's, Ben will be the first guy, you know, to bounce up and bounce around, he's, he's the first guy to still, still give his best effort, so that's what, that's what he brings to us, more than just his performance, is his attitude.